before we a little bit more. Okay. Paul, does that look about right? Yes. A little bit more. Film one more round here, Dolly. Right ahead. That's nothing. That's not your fault. Actually, you know what? If that goes a little higher, it's okay. We we'll just pour what we can into yep. the five gallon. Rather than stop and start operations. You're good, Ann. Keep going, honey. She looks like she's tiring, John. <laughs> We're going to let that go right there. I gotta tell you, you did a better job than I could have. So we're right up to about the 25 gallon mark. Which means uh, somewhere between 20 and 25 gallons of finished wine after racking, sedimentation removal, right? Mm -hmm. Sediment. Right. And that's good, Dolly. That's good for the filming. Thank you so much. Let me get you a picture before you go. Precious. Thank you, Lord. And this pretty much completes our racking operation. The pressing's done. We're winding up with a little extra wine, a little more wine than we thought we'd have. Approximately 26, maybe 27 gallons. But that would be closer to 24 now, around there, after racking, several months from now. We have fermentation locks on how many? Four of the carboy bottles. We have two more to put on. And I can put that on Johnny. Beautiful. Alright. Got a lonely gallon bottle down there we'll use for top up and probably a gallon's worth between this pressing finishing and what little was there was left before from the pressing. And all the skins are in here, the pumice. And I just might come downstairs later, take the blocks off the press, and film the pumice to see what it looks like. There should be only about one-third of the original mass left if we did it correctly. And the fermenter tub is empty. We are not going to use that or even filter it. It's not worth it. Too much sediment yeast, seeds, and skins that won't add anything but sediment. And Polly, thank you very much. And Teddy, thanks for coming down at the last minute.
And now for the last part of filming the press operation. I'm going to try and see if I can get the camera to pick up the sounds made by the pressure on the grapes. Can you hear that, Paul? Yeah. There's still juice coming out. I'm not going to use it anymore. You can hear the fizz and see some of the foam. And now for the last shot, we're trying to film the pumice, the spent pumice which we pressed down quite hard. And it's still draining a little bit, but I'm not going to use that pressed juice. It's a cake. It's almost like a grape cake. Seeds, skin. Interestingly, not a lot of spent yeast, which is good, which means the fermentation was probably very clean. Although there will be spent yeast in the bottom of the carboys when we when we rack every several weeks or months. And the minute I took the pressure off the blocks, just a, just took a little bit of pressure off. The foaming stopped, and the fizzing stopped, and the dripping is almost completely finished. The second living mystery, the wedding feast at Cana. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus and his disciples were also invited to the wedding. When the wine ran short, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. 
And Jesus said to her, Woman, how does your concern affect me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now there were six stone water jars there for Jewish ceremonial washings, each holding twenty to thirty gallons. Jesus told them, Fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. Then he told them, Draw some out now and take it to the head waiter. The head waiter called the bridegroom and said to him, Everyone serves good wine first, and then when people have drunk freely, an inferior one. But you have kept the good wine until now. Lord Jesus, we ask that you turn the bitter wine of daily life with all its burdens and sufferings into the finest and sweetest wine of sanctifying grace. We implore you, Mary Immaculate, Mother of Good Counsel, aid us in our heartfelt desire to make every deed, thought, and prayer worthy of deeper union with the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in.